I'm just saying, y'all should be lucky. I mean, y'all should be lucky because look at this. I just so happen to have the, the you know, the the special boost of the 500, the in intimacy thing. I just have five of them. And I managed to go to the point that I needed. So thank you, random, random item I just so happen to have. Oh, let's do this. That's like Zan and Charles having a discussion. I've had a lifetime. Oh, I had like to. I've had a lifetime to perfect my quid. It's time for a final show. Oh, I cannot wait. I can't wait for this one. <laughs> Chapter 22. Let's do Let's do this. Close to the end, either. Anyway, welcome, Dazai. I'm just on you to invite me here to your hideout personally. Even with a clatter of shoes and two um, soft-spoken voices, the church still sounded strangely empty. Now then, what do you want to talk to me about? A dice is mighty friendly, but no homely, unguarded smile as Charles Henry. I've been thinking about your wish. And I know how to grant it. Do you know? Um, do you know? I wasn't expecting you to come back with such confidence. It was easy once I understood Do you want to atone and... You want to erase your crimes from history, isn't that right? Dante smile faded fast. His expression was chill, Charles Henry feeling afraid by um, this continued. I know just how do you feel. I shouldn't be alive either, after all the people I killed. But there's no apology. I can give for what I did to them. And I think if you live that way for long enough, all you'd want is to make every um, everything go away. Charles Henry wore the confident smile now that... Uh, now. That's I, I um, item cautiously. Then after a moment of silence, he he burst out with a laugh. <laughs> I thought you and I were similar, Charles, uh, Charles Coon, but I didn't think we shared this in common. You're right. When I found I've been reborn in the 19th century, I realized I had a chance to stop the misfortune I'd caused. I just had to stay alive long enough for that time to come around again. That's amazing, a way to erase your sin and the girl of your crime with it. But da a Daze, did you know? Charles Henry's voice dropped to a low, soft and timber, um, tempting voice. Uh, we have a door that can travel through time too. You don't have to wait for your uh, years. You can have your wish now. Can I? Oh, but if I do that and disappear, that, what about, uh, what about my, my helping you? Wasn't that how this is all started? Yeah, but this will help um, love that too. At the mention of the name of Charles Henry's sire, Dasa's eyes narrowed slightly. I see. First, he dabbles in making his uh, great kills each other, uh, great to kill each other. Ooh. Now he's actually used to toy around with the history itself. Yes, exactly. I see. First, he dabbles in toy itself. You shouldn't get the wrong idea about him. Leave with it, don't ask for this. It was my decision to lend you, a, lend you a hand. Besides, lives are saved unless people have to suffer. Papa will be pleased. And she won't have to look so sad about you abandoning her, abandoning her and her feelings. So, this plan's actually your wish. What? No, it's yours. Charles Henry stared at him, uncomprehending. They were silent for a moment, then as I smiled. I suppose there's no sense uh, quibbling about it. In my, in any case, it does suit me well. I was concerned that using the Comte's store for this purpose would leave him quite distraught. When I leave this world, I sh uh, should like to cause it as little trouble as possible. That's why I spun to his heel, like his commando fluttering behind him with a ribbon of night. That's why, are you leaving? In my country... We, uh, we say, a bird doesn't follow the nest, it's about to leave. I need to prepare, I'll be back, Charles Henry. Outside the church, as Dazai looked up at his imposing fortress-like archers, uh, Charles Henry, Charles, Charles Kuhn, seems zegely devoted to this lord of lad. He was indeed confident, uh, convenient, convenient. That Charles offer of help and as a true wish should align. But why he would to approach others like this after Darcy was gone? Why if he came back to, for purple? Perhaps I won't leave this life without a trace, after all. 
The same and I can indeed find a way to divine the blindly loyal executioner from his trying king for good. The thing smiled a light to his lips. So, to think I'd be given this opportunity when the year 1909 was at, at long le at last less than a decade away. Save me a decided... Um, save me a decade of waiting and saving purple sound to as much hurt. But I had a lifetime and I have to perfect my clarity. It's time to put to a final show. They say people can act surprisingly truly once they made a plan to die. In one inside, I heard it before and yet. Why a very good morning to everyone. Have we all um stepped outside yet and seen just how lovely a day is today? Does I son? You entered the dining room though, the center of a window just like you'd always done. Do you did you just have to look at the sky any time you were outside you know last year? It's well past noon. You have quite missed breakfast, old chap. Oh chap, you have you have quite missed breakfast, you old chap, but you've welcome to stick around the far afternoon too. Alfred Coon, you all people should know that a right to stay begins the moment they wake up after saying all night uh, up all night. True true. I Chan, did you see Arthur's come agree with me? Maybe he'll be next. I may need to step outside just to be a send of pigs on flying. Send that pink sound fly. Uh, I watched the angel play in surprise. How long had it been since we had a normal morning here at the mansion? Does I sound acting like this his old self again? How long has it been since he last teased Arthur and Isaac? So you see how he's not running from me anymore. I can be sure he won't run when I spoke to him though, so I offered the good morning in a soft tone. Ohio goes I'm in a... Um, go, fa. Oh hi, Ohio, Gozami Mazu, I, Ohio, yeah, oh, yeah, Ohio means good morning in the, you know, like hello or good morning thing in Japanese. That's I said. Ohio, Chuck, Toko, Toshiko-san. I'm so good at this. Ohio, Toshiko-san. Ah, I hurt my heart. Huh? Ah. It was unfair. I missed this. I missed the, his smile at last, him calling me a random name, but he's talked to me. He's talking to me. He's talking and he's not running away. I'm not running and whoever arranged this, thank you. It was so nice after all the stress and anxiety. You want coffee, right? I'll get you some coffee. Please sit down. I'll be right back. I like that. Yes, and thank you. Why well, we've got you here. Just when in Dickens have you been, Dazai? Why, I've been working on a short story and I just now finished. Oh, is that the one I saw on your desk? That's right, Toshiko-san. Already got a peek at what I've been writing. Can I ask what the plot of that unfinished story on your desk is about? The death of a clown. I've been wary of that story since he used the word clown to describe himself. But if he finished it and he's still here with us, then it was just a story. I don't know what's changed in the meantime, but as I said, I'm talking to us again, it has to be a good thing. I want it to be a good thing. Just then, we heard a clatter from the kitchen, splashing came racing out over, mittens still on his hands. Are you telling me Daze Sensei has finished his new story, short story? I, I'm impressed you heard that from all the way in the kitchen, Sebabs. I'm frightened. I would love to read it, if you will. Be so kind to let me, Dazai Sensei. <laughs> I have so many devoid fans of my work here. That should I, what should I do? It's probably you may it's possible you you may get to read it. Keeping this one close to the chest, eh? That brilliant story is it? That's a smile, a soft friendly smile. The opposite actually is something of an embarrassing tale. It doesn't live up to the expectations, and I don't even remember it when it's over. Everyone in the mansion came down for dinner that night. It was a feast, much like the last night I'd arrived here. First arrived, Spashman cooked us a lovely meal. Le Comte brought some wine from his secret stash, and that's I, his secret stash. Uh, Why, Jean Chan, your glass is empty. That's not good. Let me f refill your cup. Honestly, yes. Absolutely. Thank you. 
that so stop trying to get Jean drunk. Yeah, Mozart, hello. Mozart, you're smiling. Stepping in before a friend drinks himself under the table while they himself is in bridge what a beautiful bond. By the way, I've actually been refilling Jean's chance got a drink glass drink a glass with juice. That's I was serving up drinks and playing out like holiday games with the others bringing a harmony to the gathering. He really is such a great mood maker. Seeing him have a lot of fun is taking a lot of my mind. I hope he's bringing him so much so much needed relief. If we were able to enjoy an evening like this again, we could work our way back from the sadness and together work to towards. But there you go. He was buzzing around the table just a second ago. Now he's broken away from the group, watching them from a distance. The peaceful smile on his face, it was like he was trying to br burn the memory of this evening into his heart. Tassai-san, like all good things, dinner came to an end. Tassai uh, had stepped out of the dining room during the slow moment. I went searching for him, finding him by the uh, gaze bow. Tassai-san, there you are. Yes, here I am. I was just letting the breeze steal my inspiration somewhat, and what, what was you in such a hurry? Oh, I just, I didn't see you inside, so I'm always searching for you, it seems. I'm sorry you had to go out of your way for me. Would you like to join me? The sea next to me is free. I like that very much. I wonder if he knew about the enrichment of my life just being near. I want to tell you how wonderful it was to have you and everyone together for dinner tonight and after so long. Yes, it was a pleasant evening. Eh, <sighs> you liked it too. I was worried. I was so worried that his mind might, might have been elsewhere the whole evening. But if he enjoyed it, that was a reason for him to stay, right? I still have some other things to talk to him about though. Does I sound? Yes. I want to... I want to... Ask you some. I want. I want to ask you something. Or ask something. Have you been feeling alright? You see, it's something been depressing you. I mean, it's just that if something were to happen to you, I nothing you need to worry about. Okay. Okay. I want to help him, but I wanted to help him the way he wanted to me help him, which is why when he he smiled, I I held my tongue. I trust you, you know, but part of that trust means I still worry about you. It seems you've been in a bit of a dizzy on my account, but don't worry, I'm not doing anything dangerous. Really? Really. I don't think he lied to, to me here, but uh, he is a good hiding and he's thinking. The expression was one of peace, but was his heart really at peace and he took an object from his kimono. Say, purple son, will you accept this from me? It was an old form found, uh, found, uh, fountain pen. The impression of the owner's fingers finally present in the pen's grip. This is your favorite um, fountain pen. I, sw I suppose it is, really. It just happens to be one I died with. I left it in my kimono and he, and he wound up here with me. I know it's a musty old hand me down, but can I ask you to hold on to it anyway? Don't you still use it? I can't hold it on something so important to you. I want you to have it. I I want to ha you to have this. Why is he giving me a gift to me this? He present the fountain pen into my hand and folded the, them shut. His own hands resting on, on top of mine. You asked me once what is it was I think when I write. I remember, and you told me if I don't write, then why am I still alive? Yes, and then you said as long as you can stay alive, that's enough. I'm undeserving of those words, but thank you for them anyway, Purple Sun. When the time comes for you to go back to your world, I promise, promise me you'll find happiness. Wait, does I son? Hold on. You re you released my hand and started to stand up. I grabbed his sleeve. Why are you talking as if I'm going to leave? What's this conversation really about? He just smiled helplessly at me. That's like saying we're, in, we're destined to part. My thrift aching heart came back and tingled as it were. Um, Dinged up as it was, he couldn't hold back my torrent of uh, torrent of feelings. I can't find happiness going back to my world. A world without you, I'm the only the only happy future. I want is one where you can be happy too. 
That's a gasp. He quickly shut his eyes and looked away, but I kept uh, talking, um, talking and I wanted him to hear this. I know your wish is to come back to life was to atone, and that's all you're living for. But can't I have a wish too? Can't I wish for and strongly for you to be happy? I will make a deal with a pure blood or even a more frightening creature to have this wish come true. My uh, furrant, please, received no answer. Even the window outside the gaze bow seemed to quiet down. What, what if happiness was a single a gain of gold dust that happened to catch the light at the bottom of the river of sorrow? What is he saying? If so, I've already glimpsed at it, and that's enough for me. I can't accept happiness as a sustaining state for someone who made so many people sad, not for me at least. Nor do I want to make you unha unhappy. That's I. That is why I must say uh, to you now, Purple Sun, Sayonara. His expression as he said that was a little sad, yes, but it was so so tender. That just got really emotional. Jeez. Oh, it's gonna be scary tomorrow. His final novel, a final decision. He he never wanted to live forever with his guilt. How can I stop him? Okay. Incredible no. I finished writing a novel. Now I have nothing more to accomplish. The evening was very pleasant, hearing everyone's laughter, our dinner and drinks, especially with you, Purple. I have given my manuscript to you, Purple. I want you to be the one who has it because it was a symbol of the value of my life. And I do wonder what this means and why I... <laughs> Wait, I do wonder what this means and why I did so. This is my goodbye to you, Purple. I simply wish for your happiness now. Every moment I spend with you, Purple, is like this. This grain of sun in a hourglass glittering in the light. Oh. Well, guys, this is going to be the end. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll come see you all next time. Goodbye.